again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, counting my blessings that the hurricane went up the coast. And um, I've got little scoops of different sizes and a couple containers that you can see. And then my plan is to put colors, hopefully that's cleaner than it looks from this angle, colors into both of these containers that are somewhat different. And maybe I'll start with the one closest to me since uh, it's looking like it needs to be, like I need to get my colors out of my way. I'm gonna try and leave my tops off. I gave myself, gave myself a box to put them in behind me and then I promptly put something right in front of them. All right, tops, bottles. I wasn't gonna put any gold in there and I just did it. Hopefully this is gonna be as cool as I think it might. B. I may want some darker color in there. I have a suspicion. That is such a similar color to the other turquoise, but I still, I love it, so. I can't get enough of that folk art there. That's going to help a lot. That is an art mind's mistake. The other one was a folk art color, color shift turquoise. And I've got most of my bottles out of the way. Maybe I should put a little bit of black in there. No, I think maybe just a little bit of Prussian blue and a little more Anita's white pearl. And everything is kind of handy. So if I choose to add something else, I will. I'm going to put that aside now. I never use the neon pink, but I'm kind of thinking that if I put it in there with the white or the white pearl, And some magenta, yeah, okay. I think it's time to make some new colors. Am I gonna get away with this? <laughs> Not sure. I haven't got the color combination that I'm in love with yet. That's kind of different. Keep throwing my tops away. Nope, still not loving it yet. And I went red last time in one of my paintings and it was way over the top, just when I used it up in the uh, in the scape I did afterwards, it was excessive. I think that this will help, but I don't have very much of it. And if I need something else, what am I going to use? I think that other orange is going to have to come into play. Yes, that's going to help immensely. I don't want it to be all orange. Maybe, just maybe. Yes, I think so. Hopefully. <laughs> all right, so. A good number of my bottles are out of the way. I like this blue a whole lot better. I wish my colors were reversed because I'm planning on putting this, the shovel in this one. And I'm trying to look around and see if there's something I can put in there that'll make me happier than what I've got. And I am, I can't put that in there. I have beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put some of the neon. Yep, that's what I wanted. Okay. My neon from Folk Art, neon purple. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas, and I thought I was gonna lay down straight lines with the shovel. And right now I'm thinking that I'm just gonna go wavy lines. And I'm gonna take a scoop out of there, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna lift my canvas. Let my paint go right to the edge. And hope I can get it to go all the way to the end. And remember to go a little faster in the beginning next time. So my paint gets to be all the way to the end. And I'm just going to go ahead. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. And let that puppy flow. Because I like that orange in there. And it didn't really go all the way down. And being the, this is my first stripe, I can probably get away with starting however I want. Now, Instead of adding another stripe of that color, I'm going to go ahead and see what it looks like. To add a stripe of another size. And back again. And I've lost most of my purple in there, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to do something about that.
Now I can actually dip this back in and pick up some more paint, but I think I better remember that I don't want to have to do that. I wonder if I can let it go all the way to the end and dump some over and then flow it back again. Just using a fingernail sort of thing instead of uh, anything else. I kind of want to take a little dribble. Boy, that's... I'm getting a little more brazen as time goes on with my experimenting on the dropping the scoops full. I kind of want a small line, but I think I'm just going to keep getting, giving myself permission to do what I've been doing. Get that thing that does not belong off of there. I'm going to go up here again. I want some of that paint to go right down over the edge, so I'm going to start it that way so I don't have to go back. Oh, I like it when it gaps. It makes, it adds interest. And my paint made it all the way to the end which is cool, which means I can lead it right down over. This is going to be kind of simple. It may have uh, it may have some gold lines in between just because it's a decorative piece. I said I like the gap and then I promptly filled it in. So let me let, let that drip down there. I could put dots of gold in between. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I do like those odd shapes. It doesn't keep me from wanting to put <laughs> the turquoise in instead. All right, see, most of my purple has disappeared, so I'm going to find that purple. And that's not that purple. There it is. It's over there. And I'm going to put some more of that right in here. I hope I can keep it this time. And I wonder if I can come... If I can get the same anomalous shapes. Yes, if I move faster. That's kind of cool. Okay. I wonder if I'm going to want have more opportunity for change than I've got to. Now what did I do last time? I let it right up to the edge and I let some of it fall right over so I don't have to go back and do that. This is a practice run for my next for my next piece that was on a bigger canvas that I was definitely thinking about um, making a large sun. I like the orange so much in there. I think I really need to give myself permission for a whole bunch more of it. And I like the, the light orange. And I really like that white, but I didn't use enough of it. And I think I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I hope that... You know, I can't do that. <laughs> I guess I'm, you know what? I'm going to use an edge catcher. If it's not stuck to the one under it and I can manipulate all this stuff with one hand. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm letting that paint and that shovel sort of relax out of it because I want to not waste any paint. And in order to get away with that, I'm going to need a little less paint, a little more white, and to give myself permission to do that, which includes letting some paint go down over the side and onto the edge catcher also. Hoping to fake it out. Alright, so that's not too awful bad, and I want one more blue stripe, and it's probably going to get very close to the other one, if not right on top of it. I'm going to move that paint down over the end. Have a look at this. Not so sure about that bright yellow there.
and I like that orange better so I'm not unhappy that I did that I kind of wish I'd made more of these breaks because they're kind of cool and I'm wishing I had a much skinnier one of these but maybe if I'm really fast I can fake it That was neither fast nor faking it. And I'm not done trying yet. I did run into a little issue there. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm thinking gold and skewers. <laughs> skewers to nudge. I'm going to just put this right into that paint, let it fall down over. Fake it out a little bit. Maybe fake it out a little bit more. I just shoved that paint under the edge, darn. Makes me just makes me want dots of gold, and I think because I don't want to take much of a chance, I'm going to go ahead and give myself some gold right in my in the bottom of one of my scoops. And if I like the gold enough. I'm just going to come back with another color that I like even more. Maybe one of those iridescent ones and possibly the turquoise. I like the large skewers for doing the dots because I get a substantial dot out of that. There is no silicone in any of my mix and you can see I've got lots of cells. The cells are, in my opinion, probably a result of the, uh, oh, I see that, the GAC 800, no, not the GAC 800, the, the uh, DecoArt pouring medium and the uh, Floetrol. Yes, I think this is going to require some composition skills on my part and picking colors that I like, and I think maybe, just maybe, I'm going to give myself some of those colors right out of my right out of my mix that I've got already. Which means they'll be mixed colors. And I hope I like that. I'm not liking it as much as I was hoping I was going to like it. But I think it'll be alright in a minute. I don't know how far to go. <laughs> I do know I want to get this out of here so I don't keep saturating my canvas. I kind of want to do something all along here. Got a nice, nice, nice breeze for a change. Very nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this over here and pick the colors I want to see. And hope that my trust in my ability to conceive a composition <laughs> spontaneously continues to work okay. And I'm thinking maybe it's going to turn into uh, dots right down the middle. I got two minutes left so if I'm a fast dotter I might be able to make this work out. I kind of want some purple and I think that is going to require me to go in the other container which is okay. I found a little purple in there. That's neat. Got some purple in here too. So let's just give this a shot. 
see how far I can get just using what I've got without trying to mix up anything else. It's way different! And I've got a whole section that doesn't go over the end, but it doesn't really matter because I can fix that after you guys are gone. It's a little different than I was expecting by far. It doesn't mean it's done yet either. <laughs> it could be all turn into all kinds of things, I suppose. Kind of want some more orange in there, like desperately. I'm just going to use a different method of gathering my orange together. Yeah, I think the orange is going to make me happy. Except for it's got some red schmutz in it. I like the orange, how it looks. It's not pure for sure, but... I'm kind of taking stock as I go of where I see that I might want a certain color. I'm trusting my instincts. I kind of want some white in there, you know that? Some of that pearl might be really nice. All right, I used up that two minutes in a hurry. So if you guys want to help me out, there's always a contest running. There's a $10 minimum to contribute to help keep the studio running, but it'll get you into uh, a contest where the drawing will be for one of a few paintings that I'm offering to whoever whoever's name is drawn as the winner. And that's a to-be-announced thing right now. I don't know when... I had to change the contest. Um, if you guys want to help me out, I really like getting a thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm where to place my videos. And that helps me out in turn very much. I didn't do the white pearl and I want to, but I need something to put it in. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, I think that's going to work well. As long as my stick isn't too schmutzy. It's different. And it could come be to, it could become anything at some point in time. I do like the stripes. I mean, I really like playing with the stripes. I have done quite a few of them over time. I kind of want some blue in there. Like some electric blue. Or some cobalt blue. I'm not sure I can have it or not. It doesn't look like I used any. Let's just try it and see. That's pretty similar nearby. So I love you guys. There's almost 79,000 of you as I speak now, which means nothing at all because this could be posted at any point in time. Or could get changed again. That's my last minute. And you're going to be gone, and I'm going to be here playing with this, and I'm probably not going to come back for part two because I really don't know what part two would look like if I were to come back for it. And uh, it's different, but it's still kind of cool, and I don't hate it at all. So that's a good thing. If you want to watch more videos, look on the end screens, the last 20 seconds of any video, and you'll find all kinds of stuff there on playlists. If you want to subscribe, there's a place to do it there. If you, uh, if you haven't allowed notifications, you might want to do that. If you're looking to subscribe, you won't get anything unless you make sure your notifications are turned on. I've got all kinds of paint to touch up my edges with, and that's what I'm going to do. If you shop my Amazon link, you help me out at no added cost to you, and I appreciate it very much. I will see you guys and on in another video. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, phew, nice the hurricane didn't hit us. <laughs>